Okay, so anyway, I'm not sure if every single starting island looks like this, but uh, I start on top of the snow pile and this is my area. I can build upon it if I want to. I assume if you play this game, yours will look kind of like this too. So besides this, you can also go to the hub, which you have to use this little airship to do. I'm going to go to the social hub. And then besides the social hub, you just go on little instance adventures. That's kind of like the third part of the game, which I'll... Which I guess is kind of the meat of the game. You live in the Northeast and I sow the Breaking Benjamin. Hmm. You like Breaking Benjamin? Is that what you're saying? But yeah, you get to vote on pictures between loading screens. I don't know. This game is an alpha. I'm not sure if that's going to be there at the end. So yeah, this is the social hub. There is a day and night cycle. So you will see day and night. You spawn here at the docks in the air. In the sky, I guess. Looks pretty cool giant beam of light that I don't know what's going on uh, but the main purpose of this area is that there are three guilds in this game that are going to be your quest givers and there's a guild over there for your settlers your explorers and your PvP gladiator guild and when I press R and open up my character screen here you can see that, that there is a currency for each one of the guilds and there is also levels your character levels up within each one of the guilds let me see if I can there we go so you gotta grind rep oh yeah there is a there is a copy of the chat. Why is that going on? Oh! I know why. That's gone now. Thank you, Alyssa. Hello, by the way. Quack, quack. I'm all types of messed up tonight. Oh, uh, yeah. So you grind her up with the three different guilds, and getting higher levels unlocks more recipes that your character can make. Uh, so you can make better weapons, armor, just other useful stuff. So, yeah, those are the three guilds, and this is just this is the hub. And there's also a marketplace over there that you can buy stuff from. We can check it out. Let's check it out. You want to check it out? We'll check it out. Are characters always left, or do you have to set it like that? Are characters always left? Left-handed. Oh, no, 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 no. You can switch this around. So down here are your quick slots. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And you can assign them any way you want. So I can have a sword on my right hand and my shield in the left if you want to. And then when you press the left click, now you're going to have your shield up. Right click will be swinging your weapon now. So you can set it up any way you want. So there's a lot of different merchants in here. Let's just see what this person has. Deeds. Not exactly sure what deeds are. You can equip this and use it to rename your home island to Crash Site. Don't care about that. So from what I've seen on the loading screen, the trader op um, things, these items, will change every day. And quests are apparently redone every day as well. So let me go up to the Explorers Guild. One thing I like about this game, you don't have to jump up these blocks. Your character just automatically climbs up one level. Hello, Grom. So right now I'm climbing up to the uh, Explorer Guild. Again, this is the social hub. This is where you can see other players in the game if they are playing. Currently, I don't see anybody. Not too surprising. That's the shop. Here's the quest giver. Alright, so, these refresh every day. Defeat ten bandits. I will accept this quest. Discover two landmarks in a forest adventure. Let's accept that. Complete the crystal cave adventure. Sure, why not? Underground castle adventure. Sure. And kill ten wolves. I will accept all of these. You can accept up to ten quests in your log at a time. I believe. And then you just press this little star to um, keep track of them. And right now we're keeping track of those five. I don't really want to do that, so I'm going to press uh, R... Go to my quest log, and I do not want to keep track of these, because I don't want them hovering on my screen. But there we go. We accept some quests. Cool. Here's the shop that um, uses the Explorer currency. I currently have two. You can see that I could buy stuff if I had more. I've already bought the recipe to make the metal helmet, as you can tell, because I'm wearing it. So yeah, social hub. This is like the second part of the game. Third part of the game is the adventures. So let's press escape. We're going to go to our home island. As far as I can tell, your friends can join you on your island. You can join your friends' islands, and then you gather up and go on adventures. And I'm going to show you how you do that now. And nugget to your biscuit? What? Say what? Hello, Hunter. Uh, but before I go, I'm going to kill these innocent looking sheep. Because I want food. The combat mechanics in this game are kind of simple, but more than Minecraft. Please drop food. Thank you. 
And having my sword on the right click is really kind of messing me up. Let me switch this around. Alright. So now I'm going to go to my portal. I'm assuming every single island has a portal. Is Alpha going to join my game? I, I have not spoken to Alpha about it. So every home is going to have, this is the portal. Um, I actually built some of these things, like an anvil, a furnace, a workshop. There was some iron ore here, but I think I mined it all out. And then there's this kind of like green-ish looking ore, and you use this ore. Let's mine some. Uh, to fashion, basically, adventure keys. So in my inventory, you can see I have 22 green keystone fragments, and that's it currently. So let's fashion an adventure. You're going to go to your keystone oven, press E on it, and then you're going to pick a recipe that you currently know, which is basically you're going to be unlocking recipes for other unique adventures that are going to be stronger than you are eventually. Get Alpha? You need Team Alpha. I, I mean... Right now, I doubt Alpha could even play because you have to sign up on their website to get invited into the Alpha, and it took me a couple days. But anyway, let's craft an adventure. Uh, so we have a light keystone, which would give us a middling, mildling challenge. We have a medium keystone, which would be a little bit harder, and a dark keystone, um, which actually, this is kind of cool, I guess. It requires the keystone fragments, but this one specifically requires dark hearts, which I had to farm from... Um, enemies that I found. I think I have enough in a chest somewhere. But we're going to start with a medium level adventure. I'm going to right click on this. Craft it. You can see it takes time. Crafting things take time. And you have a crafting queue so you can queue up three things and then like leave your computer if it takes a while. And you can see the little thing working on there. You can actually leave what the, uh, whatever you're crafting. So let's just go here and show you. So let me craft some arrows. I need wood planks. I'll right click on that. I'm going to craft them. And then you can just leave, and you can see that this thing is now crafting stuff. Now, I thought you had to stay there at the table, so for the first hour of this game, I was just sitting here crafting things when there was, like, iron ore to be mined right here. So, finding this out was really cool, that you can just queue crafting on all these things and, and just let it do its own. Alpha is best known for his friend friendly fire. Yeah, he does. And not building units in military games. And there we go, it's completed. We will click on that, and now we have more arrows. So, let's go to our portal, and we're going to have to equip the keystone that we made. We'll put it in the four slot, and then we just throw it in there. And it's going to open up, and we're going to go on an adventure. Where are you going, Bilbo? I'm going on an adventure. Oh yeah, also, you're going to start with a chest that's going to have some basic gear in it if you start this game, so make sure to go to the right. And get that, it would be the center one. I've actually made two more chests for uh, my own purposes. Because uh, it has basic like sword and shield type stuff, which I did not get. So I was fighting things with a pickaxe, and it took a long time. So there you go, a little tip. Actually look around your starting world. So this adventure, as far as I can tell, if you like build stuff in here, it's not going to last. And I want to say that these are randomly generated, but at the same time, I've actually seen another player in one of my adventures before. So I think it's just taking us to pre-built areas. But the thing is, it's called Infinite Isle, so I thought that maybe that meant infinite as in it just randomly generates. But maybe there's just a ton of different places to explore. Like, holy crap, I've never been here before. That's a huge castle. That's a huge castle. I've never seen this one ever before. Huh. All right, well... If I wanted to, I could mine this dirt. I can cut down those trees for wood. I can cut this thing down and get cotton, probably. I don't... I think that's cotton. Yep. Get some mushrooms to eat. You can see our health bar above the quick cast bar. The 1, 2, and 3. That little red bar there. And then our leveling bar is to the right of that. It shows you the level of what you last did basically what uh, experience you got let's kill the sheep all right now let's go to that castle so you have to find the portal out of this area to complete this adventure so we're going to try and find that also going to go kill that wolf And 
And probably whatever that is up there. Game looks cute, by the way. Yeah, it is super cute. So I'm going to block. Blocking uses a stamina, which you can see above my health bar. Uh, different weapons have different attacks, oops, statistics, like daggers attack really fast. You can also double tap a direction to shift over that way to dodge enemy attacks. Thank you for following the channel, by the way. Sorry, I just missed your name. Apologies, but thank you for following Anything pop out? We got some fur. Cool. But yeah, let's go to this castle. This thing is huge. Or perhaps... Wait, what? Ah, stairs to the castle. Let's actually explore this tower first. And then we'll get into the castle, because that castle looks like it may take some time. God, that's huge. Alright. Where's the music, too? Oh, man! Those wolves just killed a bandit. Thank you, Samuel Skywalker, for following the channel. You're not a warrior of the Empire. Serve us well. So I do like that the animals will attack bandits. They are enemies to each other. They're not all just mobs that ignore each other. That's pretty cool. And also you'll see wolves chasing down chickens and sheep. Ooh, they killed someone else over here. Who dropped a sword and some stuff. Thank you, Happy Disaster, for following the channel. You're not a warrior of the Empire. Serve us well. So now you can see it's getting dark. And there is... A uh, player! Hello! Uh, I don't even know how to type. Hey! Alright, peace out. Oh, here, I'll help you kill this plant thingy. That dude's dual wielding. Yeah, also has look cooler looking armor than I do. So it's kind of hard to see at night, so I typically like to have a torch out. Oh, there's another person here. What? Is there like a whole team here? Ah, get picked. Get picked. So another cool thing is that killing an enemy gives you experience. Even digging will give you... Maybe not that. Maybe we need to dig, like, stone. No, that didn't give me experience either. It used to. Digging stone used to give me experience. Huh. Well, anyway, you can see that I took some hits. My life bar is now depleted. So what you need to do to get it back, at least so far from what I've seen, is you need to eat something. So let's equip some food and the mushrooms. And we're going to eat. And then you're going to see this temporary kind of life bar. It's not fully, it's kind of like faded. So that's, you don't have that life. Not really. What you need to do is rest at a campfire that you need to craft first. So I'm going to craft a campfire. I need some stone. I need a wood torch and some ground planks. Craft. It's going to pop on my inventory. Equip it. Equip it. There we go. And I'm just going to drop it there. And then you need to use it, and then you'll actually get that life back. And if you get attacked by an enemy before you get that health back, you're going to lose it. So you got to be careful when you um, eat food. Basically, have a campfire ready when you eat food, is what I'm getting at. Hello, Vicarious. Sorry, I just missed your comment. Uh, thank you for watching, though. Anyway, the tower, that's where we're going. Enemies do respawn, so be aware of that. It is kind of like an MMO. This is crazy. I never, I saw like one person in the time I've played this game so far. I've never seen like four people share my world before. How do I get in this tower? Where's the front door? Here we go. I've got your back, friend. Yeah. You can destroy pots and get some money. So normally I have found that there are chests that you can open and find some stuff in on these towers. As well as kill minions. And I believe that the chests are separate for each player. So you can see them, they're going to loot it, and then I'm going to loot it, and there should still be my stuff in there. If I have the right of this. Yeah. Uh, pretty much junk. But I'll take it. I will take that junk. Take all the junk. Is this an, on an EU server? I don't think so, no. An enemy warrior! Oh, you can also hit people with your uh, torch. It, the torch does an AoE and knocks people back. Wait, is that it? Oh, he blocked it. 
I should be fighting with the sword, but I like having the torch out. I guess I could just put the torch like that. There we go. What do I overall think of the game? I think it has potential, but it is an early access, so I'm not sure how much there is of it currently. But I'm still having fun. Ah, daytime. Excellent. Do I have a dagger on me? A sky iron short sword. What do I have? Oh, I have the same thing. Okay. I used to have daggers on me. I was I wanted to show you how fast they attack, but uh, I think I have them back in my home. Whoa! Hello, knight! Give me that money. Pardon me, sir. Sir? Ooh, pumpkin. I can use that to regain health. Man, this this person just really wants to stare at the chest. All right, let's continue going up. Maybe there's another chest up here. Uh, everything in here is destructible. And sometimes it will drop some of its raw ingredients that you need to make it. Like this drops some stuff. So if you really want to destroy everything, you can. Got some wood planks. All right, now let me look at this chest. All right, yeah, so far I've found basically junk in most of these chests, which is unfortunate. All right, well, that's this tower. Now let's go into the castle. It's so weird that I'm seeing people. Hey, I saw some stuff. Oh, this person picked it up. So maybe if there's stuff just lying about, it's whoever gets it first gets it. Ooh, I'll take this food, though. All right, you guys handle the wolves. I am going to the castle, which I think is this way. This is called Sky Saga. This Wait, is this the way? Yes, okay. And uh, don't be fooled, I know this looks easy, but uh, I did a dungeon against these things called Ember Wolves and Fire Wolves, and wow, they wrecked my face. They're like, that's a pretty face you got there, let's wreck it. It was pretty, it was pretty brutal. Skystone Castle. Oh, I completed a quest for finding um, places, I think. Alright, so now I gotta turn that quest in. Hello! Wow, that guy didn't do anything. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Assist me! Yeah! Excellent. Hello, knights! Ah! You have no weapons! Oh, you do. Never mind. I, I lied. Okay, this is an odd setup. Oh, that... Is that a stronger warrior? I should take care of this one. Never mind. Nice. Captain. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, that's a lot of people. Holy sh... Woo! I'm almost dead. Oh. oh, wait, that's friendly. That's friendly. Oh, man. So you can see why maybe you would need some friends to go with you on your adventure. That one encounter almost killed me. We should stick together, my friends. Ooh, a large chest. With more junk. Oh, you know what? I know what I'll do. Take my bow and arrow. Let this guy with the heavier armor fight. I'm gonna be that guy. Alright. 
You are limited on the space you can uh, have, so if it comes down to it, I will need to make decisions on what to drop. This game reminds you of Trove? I'm not sure what Trove is. Now, can your weapons, tools, and armor break? Yes, it may be hard to see on the stream, but if you look at my quick bar, the one, two, and three slots, and also the armor further to the right, you see the little orange bars underneath them? That's the durability, and you need to repair your stuff. Uh, basically more just junk. It's kind of weird, like, there's no music currently on. There's usually kind of cool sounding music that accompanies this. Yeah, XCOM 2 would probably be pretty cool. Ooh, ooh, that's a big drop. Uh-oh. Okay. I thought this may be where the portal room was. Ah, there's the portal room. Okay. I'm going to rejoin these two. Now, most of the time there's a boss at the portal rooms. Keep fighting, buddy. Yeah, explore rank three. Okay. Oh. So we need to wait for this other person. Oh god. Fight! I'm the archer here, you fight him. Uh. Here, I'll block. Whew. Oh my god, a knight. Oh, I'm in the water, I'm in the water. Help me! Help me, please! Now that person's looking at the stuff. So the crappy thing is, if you die, some of your items will drop, so these people would be free to take them. Now ideally, you're probably traveling with friends who may not be jerks and do that, but I don't know these people. Alright, this is the main chest of this adventure. What do we got? Statue recipe. Okay, so we're going to want that. So now I'm going to need to start dropping things. Mark of Bravery, that looks unique, so we probably want that. Uh, I don't know if I've seen many of that, but I'll take it. Forgotten Ruins, a portal stone. Alright, this is another adventure that we can go on. So I'm going to take that. Uh, and I'll take these. What? Oh, they weren't done with the chest yet. Alright, I'm gone. Peace out. My adventure is done. What is this game about and how much does it cost? Currently it's free if you go to the website. Just look up uh, Sky Saga. And you sign up for it and they may send you an alpha code. I'm not sure what the pay model is going to be when it's released. But that's what this game is about. You go on adventures, you find stuff, you level up in your different um, guilds. The Explorer, Settler, and the PvP focus one, the Gladiator. I guess I can show off PvP. I've never, I'm not even done it. I'm not sure how you do it. Uh, but then you're always going to go back to your home. I'm going to check out my mailbox, which you can move if you want to. Okay, so I'm going to get a reward for getting Explorer rank 3. So I need to clear out my inventory first. So let me go to my chest. I'm just going to start dumping stuff. Chest is full. That chest is full. That chest is full. Gosh darn. Alright. Well, let me read this statue recipe. So I can learn how to craft one. Do I have a tail? Yes. I am a cat person, so I have a tail. So, we can make a statue if we have... 
I like this. So you click on an object and it tells you exactly what you need to make it and what it will make. So this is going to make a statue A. What is this? A decorative piece of stone? Carved stone piece. All right. And you need a forge to make it. To make a forge, you need handcrafting, so on and so forth. It's, it's a cool system. Uh, I need to make another chest, which I believe is made through a workbench. Let me see. I can make some benches, some other stuff. There we go. I need wood planks. So I'm going to actually queue up a few chests. And now they're going to just go craft. At the same time, I'm going to go to the anvil here and I'm going to dismantle... Um, this spare sword I got, I guess. And we see what we can get from it. A 50% chance. Alright, dismantle. We also got a short sword. I don't need that. We'll dismantle. I don't know what these marker braveries do. But I have one other one. Like, it doesn't make anything. So I'm not sure what they do. Uh, there's cat, human, and lizard folk. Those are the current races that are in the game. Hello, King Bearface. Ooh, you got a chest. Um, so I have not really spent any time actually modifying my home island yet, which is why it looks like crap and cluttered. I also have not organized any of these things yet, any of these chests. And I'm not going to do that now, because that would be pretty boring to watch. Instead, I'm going to go back to the hub world after I claim my mail. Alright, we get explorer points and a bandit archer helmet recipe. Oh, cool. Let's learn that. Put the deed in the equip slot and then just hold down the button. That's what it's going to look like and this is what we'll need to make it. I guess different types of it anyway. And that's the rank of gladiator we need to be to craft this. And that's the rank I am, so that's good. If you dismantle the marks, you get rare ores. Oh, okay. Thank you, Sneaker Ace. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Alright, so let's go back to the hub world. Again, if I wanted to, I could do whatever in this place. <laughs> um, how do I feel about gay marriage? I don't know. How do I feel about marriage? If two people love each other and they want to get married, then let them get married. I guess that's how I feel. I think marriage ceremonies, for the most, most part, are boring as hell. But if two people want to go through it, then... Awesome. Alright, so PvP Guild is over here. I have not done any PvP. I'm not even sure how you do it. But I got a block in my right hand and a pickaxe on my left. What up, dude? Actually, that's kind of what I look like, except for different colors. Alright, so this is the quest giver. Complete a PvP match. I will accept that quest. Um, score assists. Oh, my quest log is full. Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Well, how do we do a PvP match? Use arena gates. Oh, okay. Bring your own gear, so make sure you are prepared. Capture the flag. Team deathmatch is locked. We apparently have two more modes coming soon. 